Hello, this is Daniel Povey, and today we got a question from our GitHub asking, are there any good books that you would recommend for people that are brand new to the industry? Hmm. Okay, that, that's a bit tricky. So I, uh, I and most of the people in the industry didn't really learn from books. We just kind of learned from each other and from experience and from reading papers. Uh, there is a book that people sometimes use for courses on speech processing in universities. It's by Dan Jurafsky called Speech and Language Processing. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good for the history and for the basic stuff about like HMMs and and uh, like MFCCs and stuff. But unfortunately, the field has been moving quite fast lately. So we've got all of this neural net stuff, this deep learning. Uh, and I'm not sure we need a more up-to-date book. Now, wait a minute. I, I seem to remember that Dong Yu from Microsoft, one of my former colleagues at Microsoft Research, he wrote a uh, book with someone else. Let, let me let me see if I can find it. This this will be, yeah, automatic speech recognition, a deep learning approach. Uh, I believe Dong Yu is at uh, Tencent or somewhere like that now. He manages a group there doing speech recognition. So so that group, that book would probably be good. Uh, I don't know how accessible it will be. From the cover, it looks like it's it's one of these kind of, maybe not Wiley, but one of that style of book, a slightly academic focused book. It probably assumes that you uh, know a certain amount about computer science. So, you know, you could definitely try that. It's called uh, Automatic Speech Recognition, a Deep Learning Approach by Dong Yu and uh, Li Dang. Also, which papers would you recommend for beginners? Uh, which papers? Ooh. This again is a tricky one because these days a lot of the uh, a lot of the basics that you need to know is relates to uh, just generic deep learning stuff. So knowing like about back propagation and and things like that. And you know, there's papers about some of the more recent things we're doing, like I don't know, RNNT, uh, transducers, things like that. But uh, the, the only thing I can suggest is uh, go on Google and make sure it has a high citation count, like Google Scholar. Make sure that the paper is fairly highly cited before you read it. That's probably a good thing if you're a beginner, if you're new to the field. Okay, thank you. Okay.